Hello, and welcome to our next executive series video. Our topic today is radiation sterilization. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple. Make sure you subscribe to get all the good content we're putting out. Check out the status bar below for our agenda and stick around to the end to get the bonus questions. Our topic, radiation sterilization, is covered by 1345 section 7.5.7. Radiation sterilization in five words. Ionizing radiation kills all microorganisms. Radiation sterilization is one of the most common sterilization processes used around the world. It uses gamma rays, normally sourced from cobalt-60, to inactivate all microorganisms on the medical device. During the sterilization process, the medical devices are transported along a path where they are exposed to the gamma rays. The time that they are exposed, this is what makes up the sterilization dose. The longer the medical devices are exposed to the gamma rays, the higher the dose. Radiation sterilization programs must include dose audits and dose mapping. There are many pros and cons to radiation sterilization. Some of the major drawbacks are that radiation sterilization can affect, adversely affect, the material properties of your medical device. This is particularly important for biomedical polymers, plastics and foams, and other biological materials. The corresponding ISO standard for gamma radiation is 11137. How do I know this is working? Well, first, I use gamma radiation when it's appropriate for my medical device. Second, my gamma radiation process is validated. Third, my gamma radiation program includes dose mapping and dose audits. And finally, my radiation sterilization process is revalidated according to a set frequency. So how do I know this is not working? Well, first, my radiation sterilization process, it's not appropriate for my medical device and it damages it. Second, my gamma radiation sterilization process is not validated. Third, my supporting programs, dose audits, bioburden monitoring, all of those supporting programs, they are inadequate or they are not maintained. So there's delays, they're behind, they're overdue testing. And now for the three bonus questions. First, do we have any products that go through radiation sterilization? If yes, can you give me a list of all of those products? Second, do we do any radiation sterilization on site? If yes, which sites? And then finally, who manages the dose audit program for our products that go through gamma radiation sterilization? Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Send any questions to me at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained, making quality systems simple for you.